It's really hot. Better put your helmet back on. An accident can happen anytime. You joking, right? Ah! That's why we wear safety gear. Whoa! Are you okay? Now, do you understand the need for your standard PPE? Yes, I suppose. So, make sure you have your helmet on. It will protect you from any possible injury. And make sure you have your safety boots as well. Wow, that really helps. Your safety glasses protects your eyes. Earplugs will protect your hearing. Ah, that's better. And always hook up your safety belt or safety harness when working at height. Remember, your standard PPE are there to protect you. So always have them on. Well, that's a job finished. Why was the barricade removed? You should not remove the barricades. Put it back immediately before someone falls in and gets seriously hurt. Okay, I'll get right to it. Huh? Hey, watch out! That's exactly what could have happened if you left the barricade open. Huh? Why the rush to put back the barricade? Because accidents can happen anytime. Barricades around openings should not be removed. Stop right where you are. Look below you. Huh? Whoa! The floor's gone! Had I not stopped you, imagine what could have happened. Always respect and understand warning signboard and scaffold tag and heed warnings from co-workers. They are concerned about your safety. Yes, I will remember that from now on. Did you touch up the spot? No, 
They were dismantling the scaffold and I almost got into serious trouble. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine, but I learned my lesson. Always respect the warning signs and barricades. Heat warning from your co-workers and always hook up your safety belt or harness when working at height. Hey, hey, we need a spanner here. Stop right there! Whoa! See how dangerous it is? Imagine if you were there just now! He could have gotten seriously hurt. Well, what did you learn today? Always obey warning sign. You must not enter barricaded areas. That's the last boat to cut and I finished work so fast today Hmm, maybe I can start work on the next set of pipes Wait a minute Stop what you're doing! You aren't supposed to cut this section of pipes yet! Huh? Why not? I have to work on this sooner or later! No! These pipes have not been certified clean by the inspectors yet and that makes it dangerous to work on! Had you carried on with hot works and there are all residues that are not cleared it will cause the entire section to heat up. And look over there. This area has not been cleared of possibly dangerous and flammable materials like those paint cans. Had there been an explosion, it would have been made worse if those cans were to catch fire. Always work within the permitted area and the marked section of pipes. 
and start work only when the fire watchman is present at the vicinity. Thanks for the reminder. I will watch out from now on. Hey there, where did you go? I learned a lesson. Huh? What lesson? When doing hot works, always work within the designated and permitted area. Ensure the area is clear of flammable materials and work only when there is a fire watchman nearby. Alright, it's lunchtime. Let's all go get something to eat. Okay! Did you forget something? You need to disconnect the gas hoses when you go for your breaks. Huh? Is that important? Of course. Especially in confined spaces like the ballast tank. Always disconnect the gas hose from the manifold to prevent any potential leakage when you're away. Always check the environment in the confined space with your gas meter. And ensure it is safe before resuming work. Also ensure that you have adequate ventilation. I will pay careful attention from now on. Oh, that was a good lunch. Uh. Let's get back to work. Okay, but hold on a minute. I'm almost done. Huh? You checking the place with the gas meter? Yes, I learned it's important to take precaution before and after work and even during breaks. Always disconnect the gas hoses to prevent leakage. Always have adequate ventilation and check the environment first before starting work. Supervisor, it's really dark in here. Can we get another light in here? Okay, you hold on. I'll go see if I can get some more light in there for you. Thank you. Hey, down there. Yes? I hear you need some light. I got some spares. I'll lower one in for you. Thank you. Hey, wait, what are you doing? Well, I'm just providing him with the light he needs. Is it an explosion-proof light? Huh? What's that? Whoa! Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it! That's exactly what could have happened should the light break. Your good intention could have killed your friend. Confined spaces like the ballast tank could be charged with possibly flammable gases 
during such activities like spray painting. One spark could set off an explosion, which is why you should only use secured explosion-proof lighting in the ballast tank. And always ensure there is good ventilation when working in confined spaces. All these measures are meant to keep you and your colleagues safe. So do remember to follow closely. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It is better to be safe than sorry. Thanks a lot. Uh, I learned a lot today. Oh? Like what? Use explosion-proof lighting and always ensure there is adequate ventilation.